Yeah, good morning to you, Craig. So many casualties. They continue to climb across the region in the Middle East as this conflict sees no end in sight. And students continue to protest this as well, raising their voices across the city, including right here at Cooper Union. We saw these protests from NYU downtown to Columbia Uptown Pro-Palestinian College and university walkouts across the city. That led to a security scare here Wednesday at Cooper Union. Jewish students were locked inside the library after telling security staff that nearly two dozen student demonstrators made them feel unsafe, that they were banging on the door in an attempt to intimidate and cause fear, according to those students. Genuinely don't know what would have happened if the doors were left open. Since the school is failing to make good on their promises to students to create a safe and productive learning environment for them. Students across the city at rallies to call for an end to civilian casualties and killings in Gaza. Doing so peacefully, they marched into Washington Square Park, making a statement in support of innocent Palestinian civilians caught in the crossfire of that ongoing war, including at Columbia University, NYU, Brooklyn College, Hunter College, and the CUNY Graduate Center. There are also more demonstrations planned for today, a pro-Israel rally in Washington Square Park. That planned for noon and then at 530 at the stock exchange in Wall Street, a protest against American companies supplying the Israeli war effort as this has become the deadliest of five Gaza wars for both sides. We're live this morning at the Cooper Union. I'm Kirsten Cole, PIX11 News. Craig, Vanessa, to you.